this video, I'm going to solve a simple problem about hydrostatic force on plane surfaces. Here's the problem. A 60 centimeter square gate has its top edge 12 meters below the water surface. It is on a 45 degree angle and its bottom edge is hinged as shown in the figure. What force P is needed to just open the gate? So first we are going to determine the value or the magnitude of the hydrostatic force. No? So no. the hydrostatic force acts perpendicular to the plane surface and it will act at the center of pressure. The magnitude is F. And the formula is this one, gamma, specific weight of the liquid, in this case water, times H bar times area, area of the gate. So uh, let's have a separate drawing. This is the gate, uh, 60 centimeters, or in terms of meters, that's 0 0.6, 0 0.6. So this is the center of gravity. No? And H bar is the vertical distance of the center of gravity from the free liquid surface. That's H bar. So first let us determine this vertical distance. This one. And since the height of the gate is 0 0.6 meters, then this distance is 0 0.6 sine of 45. And the value is 0.424. Therefore, h bar is equal to 12 plus one half of this. Okay, one half. And the value of h bar is 12.212 meters. So from here, we cannot solve for the magnitude of it. The area is 0 0.6 times 0 0.6. Okay, square. 0 0.6 times 0 0.6, that's 0 0.36. So specific weight of water in terms of kilonewtons or having a unit of kilonewtons per cubic meters is 9.81. So, 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meters times H bar 12.212 times area of the gate. 0 0.6 times 0 0.6, 0 0.36 meters square. So, meter square and meters becomes meter cube, makancel sa meter cube. So we'll have a unit of kilonewton. So 9.81 times 12.212 times 0.36. The result is 43.128 kilonewtons. So after solving for F, the next thing is we will determine this distance because to solve for P, we are going to sum up moment about the hinge. And for P, the distance is 0 0.6. The perpendicular distance is 0 0.6. So, ang kulang is the distance of F from the hinge. Okay. Now, again, F is acting at the center of pressure. Here is the center of pressure. And the distance between the center of gravity and the center of pressure is denoted as E, uh, it's called eccentricity. And the formula of E is Ig, centroidal moment of inertia over A times Y bar. For Ig, uh, we can use the formula as a rectangle, which is 1 over 12 VH cube. So there's no problem with I sub G. Area, it's simply 0.36. Now, y bar is the inclined distance of the center of gravity 
to the Philippine service measured along this uh, this distance uh, along this line sorry along this line so y bar is from center of gravity to the free liquid surface okay this is y bar and from trigonometry this is the angle 45 and h bar being the opposite side what is unknown is the hypotenuse so we use sine function Sine 45 is H bar over Y bar. So solving for Y bar, it's H bar over sine of 45. So compute the value of Y bar is 17.27. So next is we compute for E. Moment of inertia of a rectangle or a square, 1 over 12 bh cube over area na 0.6 times 0.6 or 0.6 square times y bar. And the value of E is 0 0.00174 meters. So after solving for E, we will now solve for the distance of the center of pressure to the hinge, this one. Okay, this distance D. And this distance is, is the same as this, D. And base of figure, D is equal to 0.3. Center of gravity to the bottom is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 minus E, that's D. So 0.3 minus this distance, it's 0.29826. So after this, we are now ready to sum up moment about the hinge. So summing up moment about the hinge with counterclockwise as positive, the moment of F is negative, while the moment of P is positive. So we have P times this distance 0.6 minus F times D. And we will now substitute the values of F and D, F and D. So the last step is multiply these two quantities and then transpose to the right side. And then you divide the value by 0.6. And the magnitude of P is equal to 21.439 kilonewtons. Okay. So that's it. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.